A plan to award licenses to 15 medical marijuana dispensaries in Warren has hit a major snag. City Council passed the proposal Tuesday, but tonight, Mayor Jim Fouts says he's going to veto it. Jason Colthorpe live at City Hall this evening. And Jason, what's behind the mayor's decision? Well, quite simply, Karen, he's worried about the lawsuits that could end up costing the city hundreds of thousands of dollars to defend. Tuesday's Warren City Council meeting was heated. This whole business has been a farce. Some council members and medical marijuana advocates upset over the city only awarding 15 dispensary licenses and the closed door process in which they were selected. You had uh, members who not only make the score but then vote on that score. For us to do this tonight is doing an injustice. Turns out it was much ado about nothing. I'm vetoing it. Mayor Jim Fouts is for medical marijuana and complimentary of the council in the licensing process. But his problem is the fallout from the dozens of applicants who were denied. The 15 who got it are happy, but the other 50 are not. And they're going to sue. Some have already sued. And the city of Warren and this administration cannot afford to have costly law suits. The mayor has his own ideas on how this can work and the city is protected. Maybe or maybe what we do is we just look, interview everybody and all the people that you feel meet the minimum qualification. They have no criminal record. They're going to invest in the city. They have expertise in it. You put them in a hat and you draw the top 10 or five or whatever you determine. There is some uh, support for that lottery kind of system on city council. City council, by the way, does have a chance to override the mayor's veto with five votes. And there's a decent shot that could happen. However, the council members who were against this early selection process will probably be on the mayor's side with this. But they'll have a chance to do that on October 22nd, the next council meeting. In Warren tonight, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4.